Hello and welcome back to some more Wasteland 2. Started, or we are starting right where we left off. We gotta talk to this guy in the shopping cart. It's an interesting little logo. Lean, square shouldered guy in a flat, in a flannel shirt and jeans. He would look trim and healthy if his left arm and leg weren't all wrapped up in bandages in his face. All bruised and sliced up, he winces as he shifts to look at you, but then gives a big grin as you approach. Clint Eastwood? He's still alive, guys. Matt, good to see you. What happened to you? I am Angie. Got hit by one of those exploding pods. Are you okay? Kathy says she can fix me up. I hope so. Hurts like the dickens. So he's probably infected because he got hit by those exploding pods. Hmm. I recognize the uniforms, but not the faces. Y'all must be new recruits. Hope this ain't your first dance, though, because I got the feeling it ain't going to be a walk in the park. Name's Matt Forrestall. Uh, I guess I'm the boss around here. Used to wear one of them stars, though, back in the day. How did you get hurt? To one of those exploding pods. Now I got a little plant shrapnel souvenir. No big check that one. deal. What are these exploding pods? They're red seed pods that explode when you get close to them. That's what happened to me. Tried to go in and pull one of the farmers out. Damn pod went off like a grenade. Still haven't got all the shrapnel out either. Things like damnation. Oh, he's definitely infected. Oh my gosh. Yes, indeed. I was a ranger. Back before old Vargas's hair turned gray and ace was just still a three of clubs. Quit to run the ag center after I took a bullet in the gut. Missed any organs, but I just couldn't move like I used to. What can you tell me about Ag Center? Damn proud of this place. Signed on here because I figured there were ways other than shooting bad guys that I could make the wasteland a better place and make a profit at the same time. Not doing too bad at it either. <laughs> Got a little distribution deal with the rail nomads and hopefully soon we'll be keeping the local communities fat and happy. Even Ranger Citadel. Of course, this little crisis might change all that. Man. What do you know about the crisis? Don't know what happened exactly. Rose seems to think our irrigation system's been monkeyed with. Whatever it is, everything in the facility is mutating faster than we can keep track of. The plants are growing weird, exploding pods, the insects are as big as bear cats. Even the men. I don't know what they're turning into, but it's horrible. I feel like Lancelot would ask this question. How can we stop the outbreak? Well, I don't know if we're going to manage to find a way to reverse all this, but we got to at least stop it from getting worse, and that means we got to get that irrigation system turned off. You already talked to Kathy about that, right? Yep. Tell me about Rose. One of our researchers, a mentor to all the rest of us, I think she's working down the hall to the left there. All right, Merlin wants to know about the Rail Nomad camp. <coughs> Bless you. Sorry. <laughs> it's my wife in the background sneezing. Yeah. Once watching they get the themselves show. straightened out, we plan to use their rail lines to ship to all our customers. But until we can stop this crisis and make sure the food is safe again, nobody's going to get fed. What do you mean by distribution? Well, food ain't doing any good if it just sits here and rots, is it? I let the researchers figure out the best way of growing things. My job is to get it to the people. Have you heard about Ace's death? Yeah, I heard. That I knew before the Rangers did. Damn shame. Wish I could have gone to his retirement party. Hope you kids did him proud. How did you know about Ace? Heard about it from one of our farmers named Skinner. Said he talked to some 
wandering merchant who traveled with him, seen the attack, recognized Ace by his description. <laughs> that crazy hair of his. Did you know anything about the attack that Sorry. killed Ace? Wish I did. Skinner just said the merchant told him it was a strange man, but that was all. Maybe you can yeah. get more out of him. Maybe the metal man? What can you tell me about Skinner? He cultivate the fungi in the mushroom caves. Good man, if a little too partial to snake squeezing. Last I saw of him, he was in the mushroom caves looking for his family right after the plants went loco. Have any snakes squeezing? Uh, that's some foul stuff. Like gin. It was made in a bathtub somebody died. Yeah, it does take the edge <laughs> off from time to time, though. Mushroom caves? How about going to your ass that? They're below the center. You can get to them through the computer room. Perfect for growing fungi down there. Who was this merchant? Know anything else about him? You're welcome to ask Skinner if he's still alive. What do you do as Normally, the boss? Just keep everything organized and humming along. Today, get blown up, fail to help my people. I, I guess. Sorry, Rangers. I don't mean to be all so pity and rain clouds. Just having a shitty day. How are your people faring? Lost a lot of good ones, but I'm damn proud of everyone. We haven't had widespread panic. Tensions aren't spilling over too bad. Folks are doing their honest best trying to help where they can. Okay. If you find anyone, if you make your way into the complex, I'll make sure you get commendations and compensation for helping them out. Oh, thanks, Matt. All right, supplies. Things are a little paltry right now, but you know, I've got some. All right, let's sell what we can to Mr. Man. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff. Sell that. Sell that. Both. Uh, you guys can skip all this. Sorry for the seven-minute text and dialogue there are herbs in here well it's junk so can I just sell junk yep okay um, that didn't sell when I said to sell junk alright let's keep that oh he doesn't have anything Merlin's not carrying anything So none of this is junk. Why does he... Alright, I need to give those pain meds to Merlin. Not Merlin, sorry. Arthur. Uh, that's everybody. Alright. So I have 246. What can I buy? Well, how's my... How's my ammo? Uh, she's okay. She needs some more sniper rifle ammo, but he has Arthur has sniper rifle ammo and shotgun ammo. Must have picked up. Oh, we picked those up in the safes and stuff outside. So he's got enough shotgun ammo, and he's got his nail. Bo oh shoot! Let's sell this. We don't need this. Twenty-one. Yeah, get rid of that. Uh, she's got nine. He's got 10, he's got 17, I feel like we could use some more assault rifle, ammo, yeah, okay, how much is the sniper, man that is pretty expensive, alright let's just do, let's just do 3, sturdy mag, I don't know what that stuff does, this is what most of our people are using, so how about we buy an even 25 for 100? Um, and then, yeah, these. Uh, three. 
and uh, um, how about just two for fifty? Okay, that's good enough. Thanks for coming by, Rangers. Always good to see new recruits taking their first steps into the big wide world. All right, so let's go ahead and give this to her and give this to Mr. Lancelot of Camelot. She's got sniper rifle and those good. Sniper rifle goes to her. These go to Arthur. These go to her, because she's our surgeon. Oh. Uh, okay, so we need to give her some of this ammo. I guess we could just divide it in half, straight 15. Look at me wasting all this time on this. Gotta make sure you're ready to go. No sign. Uh, energy cell. We don't have an energy weapon. So a lot of good that's gonna do. Gonna do. What am I, Australian? Okay, give this to you. our med. Okay. Playing this now, I, I kind of am feeling like I could have done this a little bit different. Uh, examine. Lock an explosive trap. Well, let's leave that alone. What we got here? Door, you may like it. Touch anything. Don't touch anything. <laughs> Rose's old science junk gives me the willies. Don't All right, touch what's anything. going on, girl? Why can't I talk to you? Don't touch anything. I heard you. Don't touch anything. Don't touch anything. Well, don't touch anything. Literally just trying to talk to this lady. There we go. Rose, also a high tech, has a high tech artificial left hand and a revolver peeking, peeking out from her lab coat. Sorry guys, this episode is apparently going to be all about talking Hello, to NPCs. Olivia. Still as fearful and technophobic as ever, I see. <laughs> Look at her picture. She's creepy. Do you say the same to your old friend Gilbert? I understand he has a new leg now. I hate that thing. I told him not to get you it. You would rather he was still lame? Ah, leave me alone. All right, somebody else take over the conversation because it got awkward. So brusque, children. Everything in this room is an experiment in progress and not to be disturbed. Now, what can I do for you? I assume you're the help that Matthew and Catherine said was coming from the Ranger Citadel. That's a pretty high tech left hand you have there. Uh, oh, that I lost it in a gardening accident. A traveling doctor gave me the new one. Quite a gadget, isn't it? What kind of experiment were you doing? We at the Ag Center are constantly looking for newer, safer ways to improve crop yield and wholesomeness. This lab is where that experimentation takes place. What do you think of the Rangers? Loaded question. I know all about the Rangers. I've been around a long time, after all. I even remember when you took over the Citadel from its former occupants. <clears throat> Phone's going off. What is your take on Catherine? She's a bright young thing. I taught her all I know about plants and seeds. 
And she has gone on to outstrip me in every way. A sponge for knowledge. What do you think of I Matthew? Oh, sorry. It's got me stumped. What do you think of Matthew? He's our fearless leader and a dear, dear boy. Things have really improved here since he took over. I hope that exploding pod didn't do him any lasting damage. We need him now more than ever. Well, can you tell us about the exploding pods? That's a landslide question. That's what, you don't care about nothing else. Many of the plants are growing them now. They explode when you get near them. What's strange is some of the infected farmers and researchers are growing pods too. As if they were becoming plants as well. I don't understand it. You didn't see them out in the yard? You're lucky. They're attacking everything that moves. And I'm afraid the poor fellows in the east and west fields will be affected too. The researchers are in trouble? Those men and women are some of my best friends. And now, I'm afraid they're changing just like the farmers. If you are willing to dare the greenhouses, you might be able to save some of them. I what do you know about this? Madness. It has to be contamination in the irrigation system. We feed the plants a brew of nutrients through a series of pipes. I can only think that some strange toxin got into the mixture. Unfortunately, the computer that controls the system seems to be stuck in feed mode. And none of us who made it to the lobby is savvy enough to repair it. Oh, what a nightmare. What can you tell us about the greenhouses? The greenhouses are where we test new species. There's one on either side of the central corridor. I'm afraid a lot of my fellow researchers are trapped in there. If they haven't already transformed. I have the airlock codes to go in there. But I don't know if I dare. Not alone. What is this about? Do you know, do you know how it works? <laughs> gadget, gadget. I'm a botanist, not an engineer. But it's almost as dexterous as the old one. I've gotten quite used to it. Well, well. I wish I could say the same about the fuel cell that powers it. Fuel cell is I shouldn't have thought it. Up. I, I don't like to talk about it. It's some kind of high-tech power source. The unsettling thing is that the doctor implanted it in my chest. I have a glowing blue gem set right into my sternum. What, like Iron Man? And no, you can't see it. I'm much too old to be flashing my lady bumps. I could not agree more. Former occupants? Oh yes, the guardians of the old order. I suppose that was before your time. But they gave the rangers quite a fight. Almost one, in fact. I'm sure your veterans will tell you. Guardians of the old order? As I said, you should ask the other rangers about them. Okay. What can you tell us about the doctor? She said she was from the east of the old prison, which is odd now that I've come to think of it. Radiation's closed off the way east for years. Do you have the airlock codes? Yes, I have the greenhouse code. But listen, I want to come with you. I need more samples if I'm going to make sense of this mess. If you let me come with you, I'll take you through the doors myself, and I can help you find your way around. And don't worry, I have a gun. I can take care of myself. What do you say? A gun? Every rose has its thorns, children. Mine's an antique. Can I join you? Yes, more to the party. can stock up for my lab supplies if you'd like. Okay, we got another follower. Score. Okay, so we are at it right may look disorganized in here, but I know where everything is. We are right at about 20 minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and call this one. Thanks for watching. Sorry, this was entirely dialogue. We didn't even get into any action. So, Please go ahead and join me for the next 
mission. It's going to be amazing. Peace.